I start every day the same way. A strong cup of coffee and reading the entire internet. And something popped up recently that really caught my attention. The style. Vice News is shining a light on this ultra controversial trend. Japanese are pretending to be black. They say it's called B-Style, which is short for Black Lifestyle. Black Lifestyle. This can't stand, can it? Isn't this racist somehow? At least that's what the internet's telling me. And Vice focused on one woman in particular, Hina Hasanuma. So don't worry, my woke friends. I'll handle this grave assault on race by going straight to the source, Tokyo. Ah, oh, I love it here. A man like me can just disappear into the crowd and go with the flow. Excuse me, are you Jim Jeffries? Hi, I'm, I'm just fan. filming a TV show at this oh, very I'm moment. I'm so sorry. No problem, no, thanks, mate. <laughs> so I headed straight to Baby Shoop, the epicenter of the B-style movement. It was worse than I thought. Black for life, plastered on hats. Marijuana leaves on shirts, earrings, even keychains. It was like a Spencer's Gifts, but actually it was just like a Spencer's Gifts. <laughs> and then I saw Hina, the ringmaster of B-Style, who's apparently gotten into Vladimir Putin's lifestyle as well. And I cut right to the chase. Would you rather be black than Japanese? <laughs> no, I love Japan. I'd like to be Italian. Just not having to put as much sunscreen on and being able to go like this in an argument. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ever worried that this might be offensive to black people in any way? Or? A lot of Japanese people aspire to emulate the fashion sense of foreign countries. Each person has their own taste. Actually, the more I looked into it, what Hina is doing is pretty common in Japan. There are B-stylers, Japanese Chicanos, Japanese rockabillies. They don't seem embarrassed about it at all. But in America, we have a name for this. Cultural appropriation. When we start talking about cultural appropriation, the conversation is about the dominant culture taking from the minority culture. Bruno Mars 24K video, Miley Cyrus's twerking, and some crazy c named Riff Raff have all been accused of cultural appropriation. He's being a caricature of what he thinks black people look like. It seems like that's what Hina's doing, but maybe we should get an expert's opinion. So I sat down with Seth Rodney. He's a cultural critic who's written extensively on this topic. As a white guy, mm. how much do you want me to be outraged by this? I don't want you to be outraged at all. I want you to think critically about it. I think outrage is really not very useful. I mean, when the pitchforks and torches come out, people are no longer thinking. So maybe Vice saying Hina wants to be black is just a headline designed to stir up controversy. Maybe it's more like she's embracing the culture. I'm able to bring out my personality and live my life to express myself. Is B styling cultural appropriation? I think in Hina's case, it's there's something genuine about it. She a really likes hip hop. She, she really does. She I mean, she really loves it. Hip hop is a worldwide phenomenon. Mm -hmm. It allows her to have a kind of sense of who she is. Perhaps we're being a little bit hard on Hina. I mean, even I have a dark secret or two in my past. In like 1991, 1992, uh -huh. maybe there was a week or two after Criss Cross and I wore my jeans back to front. <laughs> is that bad? I mean, no. Whew. Scandal averted. And really, when you're young, you embrace all sorts of terrible trends. Something that really pisses everyone off is when white people have dreads. Is a white kid with dreadlocks wrong? Because I think it is, but not for cultural reasons, just because they look like dickheads. <laughs> um, I make a distinction between me not liking something personally and it being, quote, unquote, morally wrong. We don't even have to talk about blackface. We know that. Oh, wrong. awful. It took a while, though. It took a while. Uh, Should I be offended if a black kid wants to go as a Nazi because that's our thing? <laughs> Not the Nazi thing, please. You should be offended <laughs> if anyone goes as a Nazi anywhere ever. Prince Harry did it. Uh, oh. All right, so the Nazi thing, off limits. But in a 2013 performance, Katy Perry wore a kimono and the internet lost its f***ing mind. I didn't know that I did it wrong until I heard people saying I did it wrong. Do you think people should have to ask permission to dress a certain way? Mm. Absolutely not. So, like, you wouldn't be offended if I wore a kimono? I would be happy. She says I'm allowed to wear kimonos. 
It's good to know. It doesn't make sense to treat culture as this kind of precious object. Right. People like me are put in a position where we have to like, correct you and say you can't do that. And I don't think that that actually helps anyone understand that culture. Plus, understanding other people is tough when you're just picking fights in the comments section. Isn't it better to discuss stuff openly? How about we get in a room and talk it out face to face? And the only way to do it is with a highly diverse Jim Jeffrey show panel, consisting of a Palestinian, an Asian, a Jewish, a gay, a black guy, and a super white Australian. Now you've all been given a stick with a sign that says racist or not racist. I gathered four examples that all had the internet outraged, each in a different category. First up, Miley Cyrus twerking on stage at the VMAs. It's white privilege at, it, at its finest. Miley Cyrus twerking. Racist or not racist? Not racist, just stupid. You don't think this is a throwback to the minstrel type of era? If she is racist by twerking, that means like everyone on the internet who has posted any twerking video, they're all racist. Many people do that and it's just I agree. a fun thing. I, not racist. When you're good at something, it's not racist. Black people, you know, the black girls, they're a lot more thicker. They could twerk better. Him saying black girls are a lot thicker, they can dance better. <laughs> Is Eminem cultural appropriation? No. Vanilla Ice? Yes. Why? Because... It's because Vanilla Ice is shit, isn't it? <laughs> that, that could go so deep. As oh, soon as man. it's good, you go, no, that's all right. <laughs> Burrito store closes over cultural appropriation. A couple of ladies, white ladies, the worst of them all, <laughs> they had our food truck and they made the best burritos in Portland. Is it allowed to... Okay, you're already saying racist. And they said that white ladies shouldn't be able to make burritos. They had to shut their business down. Is this racist or not racist? I'm in between. How the f*** are you in between? That's not racist. You're allowed to make f***ing burritos. I know, because the thing is, it's not about making burritos. It's about the fact that they went to Mexico and then started watching, peering in on these um, Mexican women making burritos and steal their ideas. Isn't it more honorable that they actually went and no, saw how that. the traditional... And they didn't go back to that place what? in Mexico and compete against, like, set up their truck next to the women who were making the burritos and then sell it. They and didn't, then they didn't, that those women didn't want to give them their secrets. Home. All so Mexican birds. foods the same, it's just different f***ing shapes. Racist. <laughs> it's not racist. Don't you want to eat the bombest burrito? Who cares? <laughs> I've been to Asian restaurants where Hispanic people make Asian food, and I think the foods are bomb. I don't think it's like, oh my god, it's racist. Is, no. pa is Panda Express racist? It's not really considered Asian food, but <laughs> I don't think it's racist. You don't know your own culture. You don't even know. The Indians demean and insult uh, an entire group of people. Is it wrong to name a sporting team uh, something like the Indians? Yes. Ugh, I had this problem at my college. Right, were you constantly naming sporting teams racist things? Our mascot is a gaucho. What's a gaucho? It's a man with a mustache and a sombrero. Oh, it's a gaucho mask. Yeah, like a gaucho. Okay. At all our soccer games, whenever someone makes a goal, you throw a tortilla on the field. It's a whole thing. It's a, it, it's a whole thing. And if they score another goal, you throw out some refried beans. <laughs> and, it, it, and if they get like six goals to none, you can make a burrito on the field. Full taco. Her school, racist or not racist? It's racist. It's a great school. So racist. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson playing a Japanese person yeah. in no, an anime. Absolutely. Yeah, that was, was that was terrible. But here's another question, still worthy of a wank. I'm sorry? But that's the thing is, can you have sex with a racist? Yeah, have sex with anything. Yes! <laughs> with anything? If you have sex with a racist, that doesn't make you racist, right? So you've Should had sex be? with a racist. I'm Australian, that was the only option that was given to me. <laughs> All right, did we learn anything? Calling balls and strikes on this stuff is fun, but too much outrage, especially online, isn't fixing anything. And don't just take my word for it. Like, if I tweet or hashtag about how you didn't do something right or used the word wrong verb or then... I can sit back and feel pretty good about myself because, man, you see how woke I was? I called you out. <laughs> That's not activism. 
that, that's not bringing about change. I, I feel like there's definitely a point where, like, the social justice warriors, where it just goes a little too far. Right. And people yeah. get so sensitive, and then they spend their time like being offended by something and causing some headline about that rather than going and fixing an actual issue. We have to walk on eggshell because obviously someone's going to get offended by everything. Apparently he just gets offended with everything now. Yeah, everything. You know he's taught. Whites. Gays. No, not gays. <laughs> gays. Gays. Uh, <laughs> all right. To wrap up, it turns out that life's complicated. You bunch of racists. <laughs> <laughs>